Exactly morning. It's uh, just about five o'clock in the afternoon, but that's how I start my day. All right. Good morning. At five o'clock in the morning. At five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I was up last night around midnight. I was supposed to be taking uh, uh, Sunday and Monday off, but didn't really work out that way. Uh, I ended up. Uh, getting up and doing some work around uh, midnight till about four o'clock in the morning, and then uh, did go back to bed and slept for about a good a good twelve hours. I slept to about four o'clock in the afternoon, so that was good, uh, which means that my body's catching up on that sleep. Like when it when you you know you get the, the extra you know, you get the full twelve hours. That's a good thing. Uh, so let me let me give you a time and date stamp uh, before I forget. It is 17 hours and 11 minutes into the day of Monday, March 21st, 2016. Yeah, uh, it was actually pretty good last night uh, when I got up. Uh, I got a, 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 num a, a good amount of work done. Uh, I did some work on the, uh, sort of administrative work on the uh, channel, fixed up the uh, YouTube channel the way it looks. Uh, the, with the type of playlists that are there, I've, I've brought it more into a, a, the functioning Cyborg Alpha TV network. Before they had, I see, I had used that channel before for other things. So I just went in and cleaned it up, uh, sort of made, gave it a better presentation than I had before. So, you know, that's, that, that's a good, you know, this, that means work is getting done. Um, the 13th episode I put in and, and, and got rendering. Uh, I edited it and started rendering the uh, 13th episode of uh, Big Bang Theory RL. So that's done. Uh, there will be another upload again tonight. I'm going to try to do it almost every other day uh, getting an, an episode up. And I think that should that, that should be good. I think uh, uh, given our uh, vlogging pace that we should be able to get caught up to the within, within one or two days of uh, the vlog. Of, of shooting, this is how close we should be able to get on that schedule there. And then from there on out, we'll see how, how things end up working out in terms of uh, upload and what have you. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think the, the vlog is, the, the length of the vlog is going to vary, uh, usually between 20 and 30 minutes. Uh, it really depends on how much content's there. And I don't know about... Uh, See the way again. The way that it, it depends on how much content I'm filming that day. If I film enough content, then it'll be one episode per day, right? One, or one day per episode. But if there's not enough content, then I have to sort of start mixing things, and so it'd be a, a day and a half, and that second day will carry over to the to to the next vlog. So, so one day I'll start the vlog and uh, I'll start the day in one vlog near the end, and end that day in the second vlog, right, the, the, the vlog succeeding, so. You know, these things I have, have to work out by uh, uh, ear as it comes along, because I don't really have uh, a way of sort of adjusting the schedule. My, see, my, my schedule is kind of, uh, well, you know, this is, it's not it's not a predictable schedule, and so it's difficult to schedule uh, the, the filming it, so. Uh, the vlog, actually, uh, ironically enough, when, when, and, and this is what it's supposed to do, is reflect the reality of uh, what my life is. So, uh, <laughs> I think I'll leave that here now for now. I'll leave it short. Uh, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do for today, uh, what's going to be on the schedule, but 
as soon as they get to the research desk, I'll figure that out. And right now, it's breakfast, and then uh, onwards and upwards. Alrighty, see you uh, in a little bit. Alright, take it easy. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the next segment of the BTS. Uh, yeah, Big Bang Theory Rounds BTS vlogs. Vlog. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I think this is a standard yawning while I'm during the video. Let me give a time and date stamp. It is 2 hours and 57 minutes into the day of March 22nd, 2016. And I'd like to say happy birthday to, to my mom. Yeah. Um. It's turning into one of those bizarre days again. You know, as if any of, the, any of the other days are more normal. But this is sort of another one of these uh, things that. Uh, I finally, the body finally got tired, and so I started sleeping heavy, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit after, uh, uh, of, after breakfast, after I had my breakfast, I got up late, uh, was log vlogging around 5, 6, and then by 8 o'clock, my body started getting exhausted. I was going to, so I got up, had breakfast, did my, uh, review for the day to sort of see where I am, and what's going to be on the schedule for the day, and, you know, later on in the week and realized I had to do my weekly shopping so I wasn't going to go between 7 and 8 hours of the plan to go uh, food shopping the weekly food shopping to the, that I normally do not the bulk bulk is every 2 to 3 months and that's at another store and then uh, the one I usually go to for milk and everyday products uh, is an Asian it's, a, it's in an Asian neighborhood so uh, it's an Asian store. And, um, so I looked at, uh, my fridge and I sort of do a checklist of what I have and what I don't have and realized that, uh, today and tomorrow would be the better time to, to do it. You know, tomorrow would be on the outset. I always say set a preferential time, a time that's preferred to go do, to do the work. Then I have a sort of call it a, a secondary time, you call it a fallback time, in case the first time doesn't work, what's the second, what's the next best opportunity, what's the next best window? And, uh, I don't know, something happened around 8 o'clock, I was planning to go out around 8, and it just, my body wasn't feeling right, it was, the fatigue started, uh, that I was expecting to hit on Sunday, and even earlier into, into Sunday night, the, the fatigue that was supposed to hit didn't. And I was surprised because I thought that with the, the walk on, on, on Saturday was rather rough, that my body would, would would have come down enough from the adrenaline to really start feeling the uh, the pain from the walk. But that didn't happen. It's hit today. It hit, well, yeah, well, hit earlier, around 8 o'clock in the evening. That's when it hit. So I went back to bed. Uh, and sort of, just sort of, I don't know. I ended up falling asleep heavily until just about uh, midnight. And I got up, woke up, and decided that I was going to uh, have something to eat. And so now it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I did some eat, did some a uh, little bit of work. And I'm also watching my IPTV right now. I'm watching uh, uh, Carly Reese from... Uh, uh, one of the shows that's called, I think it's our, our Family Nest or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, the uh, the uh, show. It's, it's, it's one of the family vloggers. I'm watching one of the kids. And watching, I watched, uh, I watched uh, Clintus TV, uh, Our Family Nest. I watched uh, Bertelli. And now I'm also watching uh, Flippin' Kate. Uh, Flippin' Kate. And... That's the uh, one of Annie's friends. They're all these these are all different interesting vlogs. They're, they're like it's it's a sort of if you will a replacement for the Disney Channel or Nickelodeon, to if you like the real shows there. And I actually comparison to like like Live and Maddie. I actually prefer the vlogs to uh, uh, Live and Maddie. They seem to be a little bit more uh, I don't know a, 
you get uh, more of a sense of character uh, in terms of their interaction between the different family members and their friends than you do if uh, it was an actor playing that situation. In other words, uh, a lot of these uh, uh, shows on, on Disney Channel and Nickelodeon, they're actors playing a situation. Uh, this is real life, and so there's no script written here. It's, not, it's an unscripted uh, 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 form of entertainment, and the raw unscripted entertainment, the, this raw unscripted uh, view of things is actually towards my preference as to what I prefer because you get to see, see in many ways, real interaction, not directed interaction between uh, two different people. So uh, it's one of the things I like. Um, but as I was watching this, sort of everyone's going on, it's, they're talking about March break and everyone being on March break. And I was thinking to myself that <laughs> it's so funny because I'm watching them do homework, watching them, you know, working on different projects and so on and so forth. And that's what my life is like. You know, a researcher, uh, particularly like myself, you're always doing homework, you're always studying. Uh, I still have to work on some of my notes. I went back in and looked at my notebooks. They have to be re reorganized again. Uh, the notes have to be worked on. And it's exactly like being in school. I'm always doing homework. I'm always doing... I have chores to do, right? There's chores that have to be done. Uh, and it's exactly like being in school. And so th th this is, I guess this is one of the reasons why, in many ways, nerds uh, stay kids for the rest of their lives. It's, well... <sighs> If you're doing if you're doing science and research, you you you're, do, you're studying all day long, you know. But my science goes a little bit wider scope, so I'm doing history, I'm doing uh, English, I'm doing languages, I'm doing um, the sciences as well. So I do a, a whole variety of things. So this brings me uh, closer towards uh, being a student for life than, let's say, other scientists who do something more specific. Let's say like. Um, they're doing biology or microbiology, or they're looking at the DNA of fruit flies, or you know something along the lines. A, a fruit fly, a fruit fly geneticist will specifically look at, at their specific area of research in in uh, fruit fly genetics. And but myself, um, I because of the physics, the type of physics that I'm doing, I can get into genetic genetics. I can get into chemical engineering, organic chemistry, medicine. Um, psychology, robotics, uh, engineering, uh, medical science, any of those areas I can easily get into because it's all related to physics. Like even when you talk about psychology, observational psychology and how it relates to physics, uh, well, then you get into news. You also get into uh, uh, intelligence uh, uh, analysis, right? You, uh, doing analysis for, uh, 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 let's say, you know, what they call it, like CIA stuff, type of stuff, like, you know. That's my phone. <laughs> That's my ring toad. Ugh. Oh, tired. And, but this is it, when it's middle of the night like this, and you see that my eyes are closed here. I can't. I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open. So I will be going to bed soon. Uh. Being up like this is kind of bizarre. It's a, it, it gives, it, there's a bizarre feeling, uh, a strangeness towards uh, towards your waking state. That uh, while you are awake, you have a sense of feeling within the mind of, in many ways, being asleep. So, I'm going to leave that here for now. I think that's our, our, it for the discussion. I'll see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory or else, uh, BTS log, BTS log, because I'm having a hard time putting together my thoughts. I mean, I could do do more, but right now there's too many pauses, and there's too much uh, where in terms of uh, energy where I have to keep my eyes closed because it's, uh, my eyes are too tired. Anyways, uh, I will see you and talk to you more about uh, the vlogging like this then how things are, are, are progressing uh, in our next uh, segment. All right, take it easy. All 
Uh, yeah. Um. Oh, it's not that it's getting it got. It's not time to get started. Oh, yeah. So let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 17 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Tuesday. That's right, Tuesday, March 22nd, 2016. And I wish like wish a happy birthday to my mom. Yay! Hello, happy birthday. Um, let me just fix this up a little bit here. It's a little low. Sorry. There we go. Much better. Much better. Um. Uh, problems with placing the camera in the, in the first place. Sometimes you get it right and sometimes you get it wrong. This is, uh, better. Um. Getting started and getting up are two different things for me, anyways. Uh, getting up, there's not enough lights to film. Uh, so, I film when I'm getting ready to get started. So, getting started is usually, usually Chris back here. I do the final fixing up here. And then get out and do the rest of my day. Uh, the first part of the day, getting up, is usually... Uh, uh, going around checking everything that needs to be checked, making sure that everything's been done, you know, that nothing new popped up occur, uh, uh, popped up during the night or while I was sleeping. Uh, and, uh, uh, going from there. Uh, so what I did do is I, uh, I got the, the next episode is being uploaded to uh, YouTube as we speak. Um, I did the check, uh, and I'm all right to go, uh, food trips. So what's on the schedule next, uh, after getting started, uh, immediately is going food shopping. So I do have a weekly, uh, uh the weekly, uh, sort of, uh, not quota, but, uh, the, the, the weekly staples to fill. And I'll be going out and doing that, uh, shortly, uh, probably about, about, uh, 20 minutes I'll be getting up and going. It's not much that I have to get. It's just that, you know, uh, every once in a while you have to do these uh, sort of call, you know, you, <laughs> you run out of your normal food and, and you have to replace it. So uh, that's what this is. This is uh, my weekly shopping. And uh, uh, it should get done all right. I'm going to say this it's on, next, it's on the schedule next. Uh, it was pushed back from last night, from yesterday actually. Yeah, well, from last night, um, from Monday night, I gotta start giving the days because last night is not necessarily last night. Depends on when we wake, right? So, last, yesterday, uh, Monday on, uh, uh it was Monday, around 8 o'clock I was supposed to go, uh, food shopping, but, um, you know, things didn't seem right with my body, so, you have to listen to how your body tells you, but, it, you know, whether you're feeling all right, whether you're not feeling all right, um, and then go from there. You take it from there. You don't try to push yourself to do things that you, you know. If you really think there's something wrong, then don't go. You don't go food shopping because you know, it's hiking. You're carrying the weight back, and it's too much of a risk. So I postponed it. Use my second window, which is today. Check the weather. It's okay. Check uh, some of my systems that were having problems. Uh, we're stalling, so I checked that one of the systems out there, and by the time I'm ready now, and, and sort of did the upload to uh, YouTube, it's just about uh, 20 minutes to 6, so I think it'll take about 10 minutes to get ready to go, and I'll be vlogging in about 10 minutes uh, from uh, my usual spot uh, uh, as I get dressed, so uh, I'll see you there. Alright, take it easy. Alright, it's time for the next segment of the B of uh, Big Bang Theory RL's BTS vlog. And why are we here? Because we're going food shopping. So it's time to get ready. It's just about 6 o'clock. It's uh, uh, 17, uh, 59, 17 hours and 59 minutes into the day of 
Tuesday, March uh, 22nd, uh, 2016. So uh, let's get started. I gotta get my coat and boot, coats and boot on, boots and coat on. <laughs> kind of get that mixed up a little bit here. So here we go. These boots have seen a lot of traveling. I'm dressing lighter today, actually. It's, even though it's just about 40 degrees outside, 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, and they are forecasting snow. 40 degrees is warm enough to cause my body to overheat, so um, removing the windbreaker pants and just wearing uh, these extra layers here that should provide enough ventilation uh, to reduce the overheating that I experienced uh, that I experienced while I'm walking. So uh, now a lighter look, a lighter not look, but uh, equipping. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> like equipment, but it's for the cold. So. I'm not using as many thermal layers, and that should uh, improve how I function in terms of heating and not overheating. Last few times I came back, even though it was cold outside, I was same same uh, temperature, just about. Uh, I came back sweating buckets, so. This time, let's hope it's a little different. And let's uh, move to the freezer and get the freezer pack out. Today I'm going to be getting milk. And of course, when you get milk and uh, per perishables as such, uh, you need to put a freezer. You need to you need to put a freezer bag in your backpack. And this little ice cube thing. Uh, helps keep the uh, the container that holds all the cold stuff cold. Let's just sort of fix this up here. on my back now. Uh. Ready. When you first go outside, your body is cold and hasn't warmed up enough yet, so you need the hat. And the gloves to keep your body warm. Then once your body starts warming up, and you start feeling that you're somewhat overheating, you take the hat off, put the gloves off, and you begin to allow the uh, body heat, if it's producing enough body heat, to keep everything warm. And you, by removing the gloves and hat, you remove. Uh, a large chunk of the body's uh, thermal insulation. The way you, the, 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 keep your, the, the way to keep your your body warm is feet, hands, and then head. Uh, so first, you take off the gloves and see how things are. And if it's alright without, without the gloves, and you still find yourself overheating, you remove the hat. And but the boots are always there, so. Uh, because it's the heads, the hand, the head, the hands, and the feet. This is where you lose the most amount of heat from. So, uh, it's a necessity to sort of keep things, you know, to, to in order to regulate your body temperature. This is a necessity for a hat, gloves, and good shoes or boots uh, if your intention is to stay warm. So, anyways, uh, that's it for now. Whoops. Uh, I'm on my way out the door, so I will see you when I get back.
I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say can you see Speech rules here at Democratic Earth.